Yo, Wagwan people in the bushes. That guy. It's not locks. Not it's not locks. It's is not locks. <laughs> I just clued in why that guy kept commenting snot locks. Because I say snot locks at the beginning. Whatever, anyways. Uh, I'm doing a video here today on Movado. Mr. Movado from Jamaica. Been highly requested and he's in my next to do on the list. So definitely stay tuned, stay subscribed. This is the best in snot lock content. <laughs> Getting right into this video, Mr. Movado, Jamaica's very own dancehall artist, his locks definitely of the twisted kind, very thin, cylindrical. We see this look a lot, more so notably as the neater, quote unquote, look. Um, but, but this guy came from the braids, truthfully, and I, I find a lot of people come from braids first before attempting the lock situation. Uh, personally, I was in the same boat, had cornrows for years on end, and then decided I was sick of the cornrows, and normally people decide to lock up after that. It's the very next stage, so uh, if you're interested in getting cornrows, I don't know, find another channel, because I don't do tutorials or nothing how to braid, but it is quite simple to get uh, cornrow back hair. Not something I could ever do myself. I've always been impressed by people that can braid their own hair in that sense. But I've been able to make dreads myself on my hair. Um, more notably, my interlocks. A lot familiar lot familiar with how they look like on Movado here. Except his have been twisted. Of course, with the twist method, you have to use clips, gel. Um, you got to twist it to your scalp. Quite painful at times. Uh, but this is the way of making this, the twisted hair. Uh, Movado's been making it quite trending with the braided locks, to be honest. And that's the best thing about thin locks, is that if you had cornrows before, then you could still braid your dreadlocks back into the style that you, you already want sick of. So Movado's length um, has been quite happening, uh, down to his chest almost. So, I mean, he's at least six, seven years of hair growth already. Having him very thin, he's probably got over 200, which is quite a lot. Um, not as voluminous as you would think 200 locks would be. But they are quite thin. Um, if you had 200 really thick locks, that would just be monstrous on your head. Um, I did notice that he does wear his hair down quite a bit. And if it's not down, it is braided. But this is more so when he started his lock journey. Entering the twist game with hair that's only down to his eyeball. Not even his eyebrow. Which is a great length perfect length to start locks because you're not too short you're not too long you still get a little bit of that baby lock stage again here we can see him twisting up his locks um, twisting them back more of a cane twist at this point uh, it can be quite painful getting hairstyles like this over and over but it does give a braid out effect once uh, they are taken out. Um, good picture of his half ponytail. Quite notably the first hairstyle you're ever going to try when you have your dreads um, to test your ponytail length. This is the main way you're going to test your length by doing the half ponytail. And I prefer the half ponytail over the full ponytail sometimes. Uh, here we have another twist out happening. Uh, it does shorten his length a little bit while he does this might also uh, be sparing on his scalp by twisting it up so much as well. I always know to take note of that. Just notice if it's too much stress, if it's giving you headaches, then just stop doing that kind of look. But uh, more so today, the braid outs, um, half braid out at this point. You can see the crinkly hair. Uh, you can still see the parts in his head. Really a, a two chains look happening here minus the length but highly sought after in the dread game. Um, today, his hair is really long, almost past his um, mid chest. Uh, lots of volume. The length is all in front of his face. Still thin, still doing the twists out as usual. His brethren here has the same type of hairstyle. It, uh, similar locks, um, 
shot with his hair down. I really appreciate the fact that he wears his hair down most of the time. He's not really trying to pull the ponytail back too much. I find it odd that people will always pull the ponytails back when they get dreads. It's like they got dreads just to wear a ponytail, and that's not the way it's supposed to be. Um, looking over the view of Jamaica, one of the only photos I could find of him actually smiling. I couldn't understand if he was just an angry man or, or what, but uh, this is his land that he's building a house in Jamaica. So he would, I would be happy too of us standing on my own piece of property, looking over the mountains of the success this music has made him. And this is from his most recent music video that's on his channel. Um, just him looking into the mirror. Mad length at this point, uh, really going down to his back. So uh, good to see that he's just growing them out, not really chopping them or doing nothing really. Um, I just like I like it when I see people keeping the locks and throwing it back to the beginning of where he came from. And duly noted, he already had the five head with the cane rows. And if you look at the last pictures, it doesn't really look as evident with the locks. So. If you're already looking like you had braids for too long with a five head, get some dreads. It might save your life. I'm out of here. Peace.